What is happening, sports fans? It's your main man, Matt, from the DFS 5-Pack. I'm with my main man, Derek, the DFS Patriot. Home on a Saturday, joining me for a six-game NBA slate. What's happening, bro? What's going on? Yeah, we got uh, probably a good 12 to 15 inches of snow right now with more on its way. So, And then between that and the Brady news, I'm uh, all sorts of uh, out of my ways. Yeah, I know. Tom Brady retiring, which is you know, sucks for you, but he's not even playing in New England anymore. Although I know how it goes. You're almost as much of a Brady fan as you are a Patriots fan. So exactly. I get it. I get it, man. I'm waiting the day for LeBron to, you know, that day will come for LeBron also. Um, mm -hmm. And yeah, I'm not looking forward to it. So I feel your pain. I'm sorry about that. But at least we got an NBA slate to maybe make up for it for you tonight. Hey, that would be nothing That'd but great, right? To make up for no, that. Oh, good. Because there's no M MMA today. So. Yeah, I know. I thought I mixed up my week. I thought they were off next weekend. Oh, that's the worst you thought there was. Yeah, yeah. So like, I was like, I was like, oh, let me break this down. Like, I was ready to break down, like, get all my notes and everything. And I was like, son of a, like, oh god, we don't even have a slate tonight. I was like, all right, never mind. Um, what was I gonna say? Yeah, all right. Before we hop into the NBA slate, so you got sorry, you got me excited. I got to shout out our promoters real quick. First off, Jazz Sports. When you sign up and join Jazz Sports, you get a no risk wager up to a thousand dollars on your first bet. That's 1K back if your first wager is graded a loss. Six NBA games tonight, a bunch of college hoops games tonight. Uh, so why don't you check them out and get your action in. Promo code is 5PACK. The link will be in the description section. And then Loose Lines. Loose Lines an affiliate of Jazz Sports. I know you like Loose Lines a lot. They mm -hmm. offer really good lines, reduced juice, a ton of other really cool perks. When you sign up over there, you get 50% off your first deposit. Promo code over there is also 5PACK. And... The link will also be in the description section. So with that said, we got six games. Obviously, COVID, injury news all over. Um, yep. Let's start off with Indy and Dallas. And I know Indy is one of those teams. Indy is one of those. I mean, like, they're big, so, big oh, injury news. Sabonis in. Every time he gets hurt and comes back, he comes back and goes nuts. I'm using him next time, no matter when he misses. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, in this spot, you almost feel like he has to come back with, you know, with Goga out, Turner's out, like literally every big man they have on the roster is out. You don't feel like he has to come back tonight, right? I don't know, man. They're not playing for much. Like he played OT last night. He was hurt. I think he plays, but I wouldn't be positive. He, I wouldn't be shocked if he doesn't. Yeah, I mean, the only thing that worries me about this game is it the pace. Like he it's went off last night. He hurt it more though, so like he's playing probably. Right. I mean, he played 45 minutes on a on a hurt ankle. I mean, the only, again. The only thing is if they're trying to trade, you know, trade him at some point for, you know, or whatever the case may be. I don't know if you want to, you know, risk that ankle getting that bad. So yeah, I'm with you. Um, so yeah, so Duarte is he like hard questionable or is he like, yeah, he's hard questionable. So I mean, yeah. like, this is a team you really got to wait on. Cause I mean, uh, if Sabonis I think Levert is out, in play, I don't what. yeah, I mean, Levert, Levert is definitely in play because he's literally the only guard. Yeah, he hasn't done much recently, but that's okay. Yeah, I mean, the other guy, I mean, what about this dude right here, Jackson? I mean, I feel like he's been playing, you know, pretty good ball when he gets his run. And if he's the only big man they have on the roster, I mean, at 3,800, you could do a hell of a lot worse. Oh, are you talking about if Sabonis or if he's in? Yeah, if Sabonis is out, Isaiah Jackson, yeah. If Sabonis is out, I love Isaiah Jackson. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. Um. But I mean, who? I mean, so, I mean, yeah. yeah, that's what I mean. Goga's out. If Sabonis is out, he's literally the only big man besides Brissett who's like a fake big man. Yeah, he stinks though. He's so I mean, bad. He could be. I mean, he's so bad. He could be in play here, but he is so bad. He's so bad. I mean, and, and if all those guys are out that we kind of talked about, then what are they going to start? It's going to be Levert, Holiday, Craig, and Jackson and Lamb. This is a bad matchup, though. Like. It's a terrible matchup. Like, if this was a higher-paced game, I'd be all about it if all those guys were out. But, I mean, I think for me, I mean, in this spot, like, I feel like the only guy that I'm really targeting is Jackson. If, if What if Sabonis plays? you still like Jackson? If Jackson starts, yes. Look, I, okay. I wonder if they if Duarte's out and if they ran Sabonis and Jackson at the, the four and five, respectively, I think he's still a strong play at 3,800. I could see that. Um, but I mean, the other guys are just so meh. Uh, yeah, they're so meh. Um, and even like, I don't even like, I like Levert if Simonis is out, but such a slow game. I could see Indy's offense really struggling. Mm -hmm. He hasn't been great. Although man, I, I will use him because three and 19. I mean, 
That's, I mean, he has not shot well. That's just not going to last. Right. Eventually, there's going to be a point, but like 8,800, I just feel like I want to spend that money somewhere else. Like, what do you view? Like, okay, if a guy's like one for his last 11 in baseball, okay? Yep. Do you think that's worse than this? Or do you think this is worse than that? Do you think they're comparable? Like, wh- like what do you put more weight into? In something like that, baseball or basketball? So I think in a basketball sense, because, I mean, basketball, obviously you have more opportunities, you know, to put more shots up that rather than having more at bats. But I think, you know, in basketball too is like, as a shooter, you have to see the ball go through the hoop and then your confidence builds off of that. Same thing, like when you hit the ball, that's when you start building your that's, confidence. You see those guys in streaks. That's why I definitely, like, honestly, I don't mind it. Like, in baseball, when a guy's, like, 0 for 11, whatever, I won't not use him because of that. But I think seeing the ball and being in a room <clears throat> is much more important in baseball. Like, today can be completely different for LeVert. He hits his first two shots. Like, all of a sudden, he's feeling good. In baseball, you only get three opportunities, four. You know what I mean? Right. So, like, for me, yeah, do I like it that he's not shooting well? No. Of course not, but like he said, twelve of sixteen three games ago. I mean, he played forty three minutes. I, I'm a Levert fan. He's never been efficient, but you give me those shot attempts, only three dimes. Uh, he's still in play for me, even in a non non pace up matchup. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. So Dallas side of this equation, obviously Hardaway still out. I mean, there's nothing I love. What about a He's fine. He's just center only. I liked it when he was power forward center. Yeah, me too. I can't play. I can't play him. It's just center. Like I can't. I mean, he's playing. He's playing decent minutes. He's playing good ball for what he is. But you know, if if Jackson starts and Kleba starts, I like Jackson better. So do I. But I think Kleba is definitely in play. It's if center isn't as loaded either. So right. Right, so he's in play. I just don't think that's where I'd end up. But, like, I don't have any issues going there. I yeah. mean, especially with no Sabonis, too. Like, but, the other part of that, too, is they're not they're not a big team, especially if Sabonis is out. No, they're not. Question, who's a better DFS player, J-Val or Hernan Gomez? You're talking about on average? Yeah, just like, uh, just like if they both had the same role, played the same minutes, you know, throughout the year, who would be better? I bet Herring Gomez. Same. Yeah. I bet he's probably, yeah, I would probably say probably 0. 0.2 to 0. 0.4 per minute more than j Val. I think on any given game, j Val might have more upside, especially because now he shoots a ton of threes. Right. But I'm with you. Like, Herring Gomez is a DFS stud. Yeah, dude. He's a, he is so active every yeah. time he's in there. And I feel like the ball just gravitates t- towards him on every right. rebound. And he's very active with steals and blocks. He's yeah. like JaVale McGee on steroids. He's the best one of all those guys. McGee, Whiteside, Hernan Gomez is the best. Yep. He's, he's JaVale McGee with, without the asthma. <laughs> yeah. My <laughs> <laughs> go-to line. I know. It's like <laughs> you like know JaVale McGee personally. Oh, my God. Yeah, right. I wish. Um, anything else in this game you want to move on? Nah, I want to move on. I don't want this game. I mean, Luca's always in play, but I'm not prioritizing him here. Yeah, Boston. So everyone's obviously healthy. <coughs> in Good spot. Yeah, great spot. I was say, my boy. I'm, I might go right back to my well. Yeah, I mean, you love him. You play him like every uh, slate. It wasn't I great. Didn't play him last I played last night. night. Yeah, he didn't. I didn't play him last night. I think he he played well when they played New Orleans last time. What the hell was that? It was that was that game uh, during the day. Yeah, it was a random game. Where was it? He was out that day. Horford played. Oh, right, because he was spo- – oh, it's when his kid came. And yeah. he was supposed to play, and then his kid came, and then he personed all out. Yeah. I think he could ball in this spot. You always think he could ball in every spot, so. I know, but he's such a freak. I love the guy. I was telling, I was telling my wife, because I've always been like Marcus Smart. Since Pierce left, Marcus Smart has always been my dude. I think they're going like, to trade Smart. Me too. But because the market for him is so needed too. That's the other part of it too. So yeah, like he's he's another one that's overpaid. Oh, I mean, yeah, he he's getting what well, he got four and eighty when he was here. That's just what it is in the NBA. Right. That's that's the average salary for a guy like this. Right. So I mean, you know, I just love watching Rob Williams play. I mean, when I don't know, I just I just love the way he plays. Like he's so unselfish and he does everything that like again, 
everything that you don't see on a score, you know, a store, a score. He's hitting screens, you know, off ball, on ball. You know, he's hustling back and forth. I mean, the dude's seven feet tall, and he's one of the first guys down the floor. Yeah, a hundred percent. So, um, I mean, any, I mean, I mean, I'm not gonna hate, you know, if you want to play a Tatum Brown in a GPP, but I probably won't end up there. Yeah, I, I won't either. I mean, they're, they're, of course, they're GPP plays. If you're, like, multi-entering, right. you know, they're, they're in play, but, like, not in, like, one lineup. Yeah, and I wouldn't even say in a three-max. Same. All right. Um, New Orleans side, obviously, there's some news on this side. So, Ingram's out. Zion's still eating bonbons. Um, Val is hard questionable. Yep, with illness. That's what caught him out last night. And oh, Graham got hurt. He got hurt last night. Oh, he's probable. Okay, so he's playing. So, I mean, if... if Val's out. You go right back to Heron Gomez. Oh yeah, fifty one hundred. Why wouldn't you? That's what, that's what I'm saying. What has he done in an over thirty minute role that would make you not want to play him? Nothing. He wasn't even in the first half or in his first role yesterday. Right, and he's still. I mean, he shot awful for what he usually does, and he still put up fifty one. That's disgusting. Off tangent. Who would you rather have, Edwards or Jamal Murray? Edwards. Why? I don't like Jamal Murray's game. <laughs> That's ridiculous that you don't like. <laughs> I just First don't like that. Jamal Murray. I would, Jamal Murray. I would rather have it. I know you don't like him, but I would much rather have him than Jalen Brown. Oh yeah, I would agree with that one. I mean, Jamal no. Murray's just like Devin Booker to me. Yeah, but I just think Devin Booker's got a smoother shot. Maybe I mean, Dep- Jamal Murray has a pretty smooth shot. Look how much worse Denver is without him. Denver is like arguably the best team in the West when he plays, and now they're like mediocre. Right, right. And I, I mean, yeah, I mean, I totally get that point. I just, I, it's one of those things. Like, I think he's way better than Jalen. I don't think he's on the same level as Book. Um, and I think, I think the upside for Ant is higher than Murray. That's fair. All right, back to this. Um, back to this, yeah. Yeah, Hernan Gomez lock. I mean, if if oh my god, yeah, Jalen. Was- Half by her, right? I mean, you have to. You absolutely have to. He's the best player on the slate. Then, what and if, if he's J-Val- not like eighty percent owned? Uh, if J Val is, uh, what would you say? At first, I said, "What about J Val if he's in?" I don't mind J Val. I think I'd rather What's- I'd rather play Time Lord for a cheaper price. What's he been out with? He's sick. Like stomach bug sick. So okay, he missed so, shoot around yesterday morning because of it. But it's not like if he's healthy, he's healthy. He's playing. I mean, it's not like he's nursing something. Yeah, no, no. It, it's straight like, yeah, it's straight like sick, sick. Like no injury related. So if he's feeling good today, he's probably going to play. Yeah, I wonder if he missed shoot around or not. I have to, I'll check that out later on. I don't even care if he misses shoot around because if he's feeling better later, he's going to play. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, like, I, I, if it, it was so late in the day yesterday that he was ruled like sick, like he missed afternoon shoot around, then he missed the game. So, like, if it's that stomach bug that's going around, I, I mean, it very well could just be a 24 hour thing. But I mean, if he's been uking all morning and all, you know, all last night or whatever, that's a tough yeah, come back know. and play a game. <laughs> Find out for us. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll hit I'll hit him up for you. No problem. Yeah, find out for him. <laughs> since you seem real interested. Um, so yeah, Hernan Gomez lock if J Val's out. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It's, you know, we know Ingram's out. Um, Alexander Walker playing really good ball. He has been playing really good ball. Forty six hundred, and if, I mean Graham's gonna play, so you don't have to worry about that part. But I mean, he's been playing good ball and playing a ton of minutes. I mean, what more can you ask for? Forty six hundred point guard shooting guard eligibility. They need his offense right now. Um, mm-hmm. And the Graham also, I mean, definitely in play. Yep. Yeah. The only again, the only the only downfall the Graham is point guard only, but you know him and Nah very very similar in that aspect. And he's cheap too. Oh yeah, I mean fifty two hundred. So he's crazy. Yeah, he's not a must. And then the other guy is Herbert Jones. My boy. Yeah, he balled last night. I used him a couple of nights too. He wasn't very good, but yeah. last night he balled. Yeah, I mean. And and he did he was fine against Boston the first time they played. He's so um, active, like oh my god, he's 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 got like springs in his legs. Yeah, yeah. 
I mean, that's three fourths of the NBA. But like that was the first like when I watched that Celtics game and I yes. watched them play, I was like, holy crap. That's like ninety nine percent of the NBA. But yeah, that's that's why I'm in the league. That's what I do in my real time job. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> in your um, best days. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. When I play two K, I'm nice. You should see my yeah, player. I'm sure you are. <laughs> um, all right, moving on to a. I mean. You call it an awful game or a good game for DFS purposes, depending on how you think it plays out. I think Philly's going to roll them. Well, how could you not after Sa- uh, Sacramento <laughs> got absolutely destroyed recently? Right. I was going to say, what part I'm of Sacramento do you think it makes you competitive? I'm worried about them, just like that they've like thrown in the towel. I mean, if you've watched the last two games, it sure as hell looks like it. On the other hand, they're an NBA team, and there's like over half a season left. So, like, what are they just going to lose by 30 every game? No. Right, right. I you know mean, what I mean? Yeah. Yo, no, I totally understand that point, yeah. But they're also, I mean, like, playing in Philly, so it's not like this is a good game for them to, like, get back on track. Right, right. You're in Philly, yeah. Road trip, yeah, no, I'm not. That's probably a team I stay away from. Because, you know, Davis is out, and Fox but is out. I don't think I've you have to stay Howard. away from them because I think guys like Holmes at 4,800 is in play. Um, if Fox is out, Halliburton. Yeah. I'm not excited about them, though. I'll give you that. Halliburton, though, it Fox is out. I've played him the past two times. Like when yeah, I know. Fox well, they've gotten out. blown out. And they've gotten – I mean, they've gotten the railroaded. Is, though, look at the games before that, though, when Fox was out. Even go back a little bit. Fox was in for that 53. Go back. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think before – like, I think if you go to the bottom of that. Right there? Yeah, right there. All without Fox. Right. But, I mean, I mean, look at the competition defensively, though. Golden State's pretty good. Yeah, but the Clippers and the Spurs. I mean, I, mean I get your point. Your point is totally. Your point is totally made here. I'm just arguing because I don't want to. I feel like I'm going to force myself into Halliburton again if Fox is out, and I'm trying to talk myself out of it. Well, I think that the point is that he's not a lock, but I still yeah. need got massive upside, which is what the point is. Right. Yeah. You know, I mean, and the price increase for him playing like shit the past two games too. Yeah, definitely going to lower his ownership. Um, right. If Fox is in, I got no interest. Yep. All right. Uh, other side, Philly. Seth, is Seth actually out again, or is this just another? He's still questionable with that ankle injury. So I that's something take, to keep an eye on. I'll take props. Uh, I'd call him out a little bit, but, man, my boy Tobias Harris went nuts the one day I liked him. Yeah, you did. When you called him out, I, I was like, I hate playing Tobias Harris, so, like, unless I'm forced into it, I never do. And he put up a 57. I was like, golly. Oh, yeah, he was awesome that slate. Great spot against those New Orleans scrubs. So right. he's actually playing really good ball right now. Like I he's affordable. I think he's a solid mid tier look. Yeah, I have no no issue with Tobias Harris at all. Um then what about MB? I mean, if you think this game is gonna stay close, how do you not love MB? Well, even if you don't think it's gonna stay close, it's probably because MB went off. And even like how close is it gonna be? Like is it going to be a 40 point game or is it going to be like a fifth, a 10 point game in the fourth quarter that eventually becomes a 20 point right. game and you lose two minutes? Like, I don't care about that. Right. Right. I mean, I mean though, was- on the flip side of that, if you really think Philly just rolls, I think Andre Drummond at 3,900 is sneaky. Yeah. Where the hell is it? Because he's yep. cheap. He's cheap, cheap. Well, I mean, that's like, um, I think if it gets, if you think it rolls, I think Niang's in play at thirty six hundred too. I don't want to play those guys though, just because like you need such a blow. Like if I really think it's that bad of a blow, Embiid went nuts. Embiid's another guy that can have, have like fifty and a half also. So like right. all of a sudden, if you think Philly's up like twenty five at halftime, I mean Embiid's probably got forty plus. Oh, easily. Oh yeah. So like. For sure. Yeah, he's not going to get you. He's not going to play the whole game. And, but what if Sacramento then, like, cuts it within – you know what I mean? Like Right. There's so many X factors. It's an NBA. It's not like it's a football slate. Exactly. Like, it's just rare that, you know, teams – you know, and I've, I've heard this before, too. Like, and I believe it. I think I've said this to you. Just because a game has a large spread doesn't mean it's more likely to blow out. It just means oh. that you know which side will do the blowouting if it happens. So, Absolutely. Like, Toronto, Miami could blow out. Right. We just have no idea which side it could be. Right. Sacramento is not blowing out Philly and Philly. You know what I no. mean? Like, right. Rarely, rarely will that happen. Right. One out of a hundred. 
Yeah, maybe that. Maybe one I have on where they like roll, you know, where they roll or like guys are losing run, I'm saying. Right, right, right. Yep. No, yeah, I agree with that. How often is is this Sacramento team in Philly blowing them out where they're up like 30 in the fourth quarter? Yeah, it's not happening. No, like one in a 500, maybe. (laughs) Right, right, right. Kill the NBA. So, like, you never know. Like, Philly could easily be like, damn, this Sacramento team sucks. Like, they don't have the strongest mental fortitude, but. Uh, Sacramento is bad right now. Philly should win this game easily. It's just, I think that the guys are still in play, especially on a small slate. Yes, sir. Um, also, Thibel starting, and I like the matchup for him if he's starting. Sacramento sloppy. He's really active. 3,800. I actually like him quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, I played him the other night. Ooh, too, yeah. uh, I think it was two nights ago. And he his first run, he literally got zero. I hate that. Like, when guys I was like, back at zero, what? it's like, oh. Like, I was so mad. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, this is what you're... And then and he turned it on a little bit to make it, you know, a respectful night for him at 23 fantasy points. Very nice. Um, right. So, like, was very happy with that. But after, I was cussing that man out after his first run. Oh, my goodness. And he's been in good spots recently for steals and blocks. Not right. even play against Boston. Like, the Charlotte game worries you. You know what I mean? Because that's in the cards. Because he has no offensive skill. So, like... Right. He needs to get some stocks, but he's one of the best defenders in the league. And Sacramento's awful. You mm-hmm. know, uh, they turn the ball over a ton. Um, I like Thibel here, especially if he's starting. Also, he'll get all, all the run if it's a blowout. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Um, the next is Washington Memphis. So fully healthy Washington team. Um. Yeah, this is not a team I have any interest in, actually. Same with me. Zero interest. Yeah, moving on. Great, that was easy. Um, that's called hashtag analysis. Yeah. All right, uh, Memphis side. So, Brooks is out. Kyle Anderson is questionable. Yep, he's still covid Uh Zaire Williams, what happened to him? Doubtful. Left knee. Okay. Doesn't really Jones. Happen. Yeah, so, I mean... I mean, I think on this side, for me, it's if I want to play Ja or not. I, but, like, are you playing Ja? Because I think that everyone wants to play Ja right now. Right, are, and the man is on a tear. Yeah, dude. Like, even last night, I mean. Yeah, last night we were like, oh, it's a tough matchup. Homeboy went out there and said, yeah, shove it. Right? I mean, another trick dub, like, easy triple-double. He's taking so many shot attempts. Yeah. I mean, I mean, damn, if I can get, like, if that New Orleans value opens up, like all those guys are ruled out. Like, how do you not just play them? Washington not good defensively at all. Agreed. Um, yeah, a couple other guys from Memphis too. Cheaper Melton. Mm-hmm. Or is he he's way down here? Yeah. You know? If Zaire's out, do you have any interest in like contra- Conkar or whatever the guy's name is? Not really. I just don't think it's a slave for it. I don't hate it, but I'd rather get to a guy like Melton. I know it's a guard position, but at least he's shooting guard. Thing is, though, like he's not priced where he should be, and like I don't know why is he playing all those minutes all of a sudden. I mean, you, it, it's yeah, I don't know. Tyus Jones has he been out? Is that why? It's got to be Jones and Anderson being out. So yeah, Tyus Jones hasn't played since the seventeenth. Right, it's Jones and Anderson and Brooks. Right. I mean, right. If all those guys are out, I think we can go right back to Melton and then Bain also. Bain yeah. is just more like a filler piece at this point. Right. Bain, Bain is solid. The game play. Jackson is the tournament play. I mean, Jaron Jackson, another monster game last night. Yeah, dude. I mean, like, I feel like when he's not in foul trouble, the man is an absolute beast. Dude, he's like amazing from the blocks and steals. Like, mm-hmm. like look at that. That block rate is just insane. It is. Um, so, I don't know. Always risky, but clear upside at this price. Absolutely. Um, all right. Uh, next. So, Toronto, Miami. Uh, Van Vliet is still questionable with that knee injury. I I don't know what he's doing. I... Yeah. This is a tough. This is a tough game from a DFS standpoint, in my opinion. Always tough to want to pick on Miami. Trent's popping a little bit. Really? Mm-hmm. Is that with the expectation that 
stands leads out? I'm um, sure. It has to be, right? It has to be. I mean, that's the only reason. I, I, I mean, if Vans leads in, I just don't see him paying off the 5400 salary. Yeah, agreed. I mean, he's affordable. He's been shooting well, but he's been shooting a lot. Right. I mean, I think, you know, you're back in this range right here. This is your area. There's a lot of teens for 5400 that makes me a hell of a lot more nervous. Yeah, same. He's definitely not a must for me. No, I think. I mean, I think he's definitely way, way more in play if Van Vliet's out, though. Yeah, definitely more in play. All the all of them are more in play if Van Vliet's out. Right. Um, all right, and then anyone? I mean, any interest in like the Scotty Barneses of the world? Not really, because it's a tough spot. Right. That's how I feel. I feel like this is a tough. Like for me, like this team is like it's either Trent if Van Vliet's out, where he's in, he's not a must play, but he's in a lot more in play, or I just probably pass up on this team. I probably won't play Trent even if he's out because he's going to be chalky and I want to fade that. Um, next on the Miami side, so Butler is questionable. Wasn't he questionable last night too? Oh, he's probable. Okay, so he's playing. So he's in. Lowry's out. Obviously, Oladipo, Morris. I mean, Butler is cheap. Well, yeah, yeah, he's he is very cheap for who he is. Yeah, and he like I like him in spots like this, like close game. Um, Lowry's out. I think he's right. definitely in play. Put up fifty one the last time they played Toronto. Um, I mean, if you tell me he's gonna get, even if he's gonna get fifty at forty six, I mean sixty four hundred, yeah, give me it. Oh uh, yeah, if he's getting to fifty, I'll take that all day. Right, exactly. What about yeah. Hero? I don't mind Hero. I mean, he's gonna put up. We know what he's gonna do. He's gonna shoot the damn ball. But, I mean, he's been playing. He's been playing decent ball. I mean, nothing, nothing crazy. Obviously, the production's gone down since you know Jimmy's been back. Um, I don't mind him. When Butler's in, not really ever interested in that. Um, Bam, intriguing a little bit, but no priorities. Yeah, yeah, for real. All right. Um, next, Brooklyn and Golden State. This sucks that KD's not playing. Yeah, it does. Um, but KD's out, so Harden, Harden and Irving are obviously in. Harris is out. I mean, is this kind of one of those games that you potentially stack? Like, if you stack studs in this game? Like, Irving's are, cheap for who he is. Are people going to stack this or stay away? I don't know. Well, that's what I'm saying to you. Like, I don't what, – what's your take I on don't know. I could easily see stacking it. I'm seeing it being a high-scoring game. I could also see it, like, dudding a little bit, kind of like we thought about, you know, with Denver and Golden State that one time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I think I think I like Irving a lot more than Harden in this spot. Okay. I mean, just because of the price? I, I think price considered, I think, you know, obviously with, you know, I think, you know, you'll get Clay's in for, you know, Golden State too. So Clay's going to be on Harden. Um, obviously that's not, you know, everything, but I think, you know, defensively he's a lot more of a sound player. Um, so I think the price discount on top of it, you know, matchup wise, I think, yeah, I like Kyrie better. Honestly, I like both of them. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, like I said, if I, I don't, I haven't decided if I want to fully stack this game, I want to see what the ownership on them looks like later on. Yeah. Same. Cause it's like they're low owned that like I want to stack them then. Yeah, ag agreed. Um, I completely agree. Let's move over to the Golden State side and then do some building. Yes, sir. So Dre's out. Wiseman obviously out. BX is questionable. So I, I still cannot believe Andrew Wiggins is an all-star game starter, but that's a different story for a different day. Um, I mean, I think Clay's too cheap in this spot. Like 5,500, he's definitely playing tonight because they didn't play last night. His minutes have been upped. You know, he's been saying he feels more confident on the floor. I just feel like it's a prime spot for him. I agree. That is a good price tag, and he's definitely in play for trying to, like, stack this game. Mm -hmm. I think even if you're not stacking him at shooting guard, I think he's a, you know, fine play for 5,500. So would, you ra would you rather him or Trent? Him. Yep, that's how I feel, too. And I feel like the masses will flock to Trent if Van Vliet is out. That's hard, though, to say because Trent's been better at playing more minutes. So, like... Yep. Yeah. I mean, I get that for sure. I just, I, don't know, I feel like 
Trent might have the higher upside overall of Van Vliet, though, but I think Clay is the safer of the plays. No, I disagree with that. I think that Trent has the higher floor. You think so? I do. I mean, because if Clay doesn't hit shots like the Indiana game, then his floor is really low. Trent also has a lower floor, has a low floor, but he plays more minutes. So, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, yeah, I get that for sure. Yeah. I mean, I think, like I said, we talked about it. Like, you know, Trent is the man to me. I like I like Clay in this spot. I think the pace is going to be crazy. So, because you know, Golden State's going to want. I mean, Brooklyn's going to want to push the pace. So, I'll be interested to see how the, this game turns out. And it's, an, it's the last game. It's an eight thirty start time too. So we have plenty of you know plenty of night to watch. Sweet. Um, anything else on the Golden State side? No, nah, I mean I Curry. I'm, Curry, if you're going to stack it, but Porter and them are in play, but not really. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so build. Build. it's like impossible to build though without knowing the New Orleans news and like the you know what I'm saying. I, I'm gonna go with the assumption. My guess is Valens Jr. doesn't play. All right, fine. I'll I'll do that too, and I'll start and I'll go Hurd and Gomez. Um, give me if we think he's out, then Ingram's already out. Um. Alexander Walker. Man, I'm going to play. I'm going to also play for Fox to be out, and I'm going to, like, play that game a little bit. I'm, like, kind of digging that. Give me Embiid. Give me Halliburton. Um, give me Harris. Harris, yep. Give me um, Melton. Give me Isaiah Jackson. Yep. 47. Honestly, all right. Take all right. Say J J about plays. Take her and Gomez out and put in Holmes. See if that three hundred does anything. I doubt it, but maybe. Uh, small forward. So that gets you Holiday if you think. Or Craig. I'm not I'm trying to play any of those guys. Um. Yeah. I mean, Cork Maz if what space is out. All right. Go back to uh to to Hernan Gomez. Yep. Got Melton. Gomez. Oh, that's not Aaron Gomez. That's Herb Jones. Nelson, see you. So, like, who's a cheap guard? I like cheap. Thibel. Yeah, Thibel. Great call. He's small forward too. Oh, yep. There it is. He's not a guard, but Thibel. I thought he was. Yeah. You thought he was shooting guard, small forward. Yeah. It's fine. I needed that anyways. And then Cl- like Thompson. Uh, oh, look at that. Boom. Um. How much is Trent? 54? So I could go either. 54. Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, I like that. I'm not going to lie. like it a lot. Yeah. And look at that. I mean, a little Thibault action gets you Clay and that's, or Trent, and that's huge. All right. Mm-hmm. Let me take out. Okay. And I'm going to put Isaiah Jackson a power forward. Uh, shooting guard, what do I want to do? I want to go Kyrie here. I want to go guard spot. Curry. Uh, 50. Okay, what do I have? Let's see. I mean, I like, I like that. I mean, uh, let's see if I can do this. Time Lord. Small forward. I like. Who do I like? Who do I have my? Who's on my bag of? Yeah, see, like this. I don't think it's going to. I don't like. I don't like Curry in this lineup. I'm going to go Clay. Not full game. That could give me a little something there. Um, 72. That makes my life a lot easier. 72, obviously. Um, 
but again, this is not like I am not thrilled about the small forward position again, which I feel like has been a standard mo. Um, I guess I just go Thibault just because he's cheap and he's gonna, if he starts, obviously it makes a difference. You're gonna be left in no man's land here at forward. Yeah. So at this this lineup, I would take out Time Lord. Yeah, exactly. You don't need to force him in because you can get like nope. you can get like Embiid here, who you right. don't even or like whoever. Jimmy. I don't I don't like Jalen. So if I want We also didn't talk about Porzingis at all, who honestly should eat against this Indiana front court. Yeah, he should. Yeah. I know he hasn't been great recently, but like that's what tournaments are, right? Like he had 41 two games ago. Right. He's cheap as hell, man. Like this dude can put up 50 in a spot, like especially if Sabonis is out. Oh, he could he could feast. Right? He, he could, yeah. Old, Back-to-back blowouts have cut his minutes. Like, you know, in the last close game, he put up a 40 spot. I like him. Yeah, that's a good call, no, for sure. Um, see, even in this line, I wouldn't use... I wouldn't use Jimmy in this lineup. Like, if I went... You basically could use anyone you want in this lineup. So who's your favorite player here? I think I'd probably go Ja. Yeah, and oh, that Harris. gives me poor Zingas. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. <laughs> that worked out really well. Yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, I don't, like, I don't mind that. Because, like, I still have access to that late game with Clay and, obviously, with Kyrie. Um, I mean, Jaws a dog. So, yeah, I mean, I have no issue with that at all. Yeah, I'm with you 100%. Um, that's all I got. You got anything else? That's all I got. All right. Well, appreciate you coming on with me, as always. Thank you guys for watching. Check out the links in the description section. Ooh, my camera is off. I did not mean for that to happen. Now I'm back on. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Thanks again, guys. Until tomorrow. See you guys.